step. Do the intro to the video. Yeah, We're back. Hopefully we can finish something. <laughs> I like that intro way better than any of my intros. So we're gonna fucking, try to finish something. We're gonna we're gonna get a lot of shit started and then come back to that. So no, we're gonna finish a couple things today. We have some cool shit, I'll tell you about. It. Let me move this bitch out the way. So we figured out what we're gonna do. We uh, we had a finished product that we kind of messed up a little bit. So basically, when we painted the interior, we had some issues with some holes that we didn't tape up on the back side. So we got a little bit of a gray overspray on the subframe that we painted so beautifully black. So Fro just hit it with some light fine what is it 800 grit sandpaper just to get some bite on it take off any rough edges that we had or any raised edges no i'm not doing that we're not touching that but yeah i'm getting froze way so basically we got this chase bay clutch line it's a replacement for chase bays Bam, first Chase Bay's product that I've had in this garage on any car that I've worked on. So Fro sprung for it. How much was it? It was 70 bucks, double, but it, double, one line I don't have to redo. So he was planning on making that custom line with the hard lines that we bought and the hard line maker, whatever. Bender and what is it? Beveler or something? or. Hard line, t it's fucking right here. Hard line. Break line. Break line. Oh, whatever. I don't know. I'm acting like I know what I'm talking about. But, uh, so yeah, Chase Bay's replacement for the hard line clutch line. So we were going to put this in, but we realized that we still have to put the inline fuel line, oil, I mean, fuel filter. So fuel, I just realized fuel janking that off. So we're gonna hit this with some more black paint and some clear so we don't have to try to color sand it and polish it and all that cool shit. And then we're gonna install the line and plug it into our slave cylinder. But we should just wait to do that until we put it on the motor, but we're gonna finish something. We're gonna start all watching shit and not finish nothing. It's all finished, almost. Yeah. It's really coming together though. I'm stoked on it right now. Plumbing it together so we can throw the motor in this bitch. So. Logically, kind of talk about superhero strengths and how they work. You know? I agree. I'm Superman though, so. But I understand, Superman. You sort of just have to kind of roll with it, you know? Just to make sure we don't get any overspray on the freshly painted gray, cement gray, we decided to do this. Bro's having fun. Yeah. $10 a fucking roll of tape, why not waste it all on 
Fuck yeah, 778 on sale. That's one thing I will recommend is the 3M painter's tape. Anytime you guys want to do any kind of masking and shit that you're going to peel it off, it shit works really well and it works well. You see how he's taking it off and putting it back on and doing it over and over? It, it works well. It doesn't leave glue behind. Unless you leave it in the sun for multiple days. It will leave some residue, but it still comes off. Yep. That's just random ass metal. Yeah, just three eighths. Scooby. Putting our life in your hands, fro. It's gonna make some custom brake lines. <laughs> wow. That's cool. I don't think we should paint it. What do you guys think? Should we paint it? Yeah. Smash the engine bay? Or black? I say we leave it alone. Let people see the custom. That's what's up. Well, if they're going to see it, let it look good. Clean is better. Cleaner is better. Always. So, Fro's been working. Bend in with this uh, bender that he's got. Not sure if it's a really quality tool or not, but it's... It's not. It's okay, it's not. It's probably $1.50 better than a Harbor Freight. Okay, well, it's better than Harbor Freight. We'll see. So basically he just had a, some clothes hanger that he bought from the fucking dry cleaner because nobody has... Nobody goes to the dry cleaner anymore, I guess. <laughs> or Fro and I don't. We're not the dry cleaner type clothing no, we're, guys we're not classy so he bought went to go buy some from the dry cleaner had to actually buy uh 12 for a dollar the dude just gave him two for free so the trick is you bend this to match it around whatever you want so fro made this template basically so he's trying to match it with that and he's right at this angle now so Pretty cool shit. I'm glad I ain't doing it. So, Fro's break line. That's clean, I think. Way cleaner. See how well it tucks against the wall. It doesn't even need one of those uh, little clamps. Those rubber. This was the before. Is it the before? Oh, okay, yeah. Fro was talking about. So this is how how far it it recessed in. It actually came out over here and wrapped around a couple things and bent weirdly around here. Never even tucked around this part. Came out around here and shit. Like this one here comes out and would go around the charcoal canister that we're no longer going to be utilizing. So Fro's idea is to box this down and over here along the wall and there. So 
that way this isn't a huge gap. Little things are bothering us. And while not, a brake, not a brake tuck, but a clean, a clean running of brake lines that's not needing to be ran around shit because all that shit we yanked out. I think it looks good though, man. I like the idea of keeping it the same color too and not painting it. We paint it, we paint it like gray and it'll blend in even more. Yeah. The cement gray that we got on it. That's what's up. Let's order pizza. This bitch gonna throw a tank, bro. She's gonna throw a tank at the faceless bitch. That's fucked up. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, dude. Who's that dude? I don't even remember this movie. All right, so Fro's got the passenger side done. You can see how tight that runs. Clean. It'll even be better when we clip it down. Yeah, even then. I got it to go underneath there. It's clean. Looking good, bro. Now he's just got two more lines to create, which are kind of a bitch. They we opted to go for a GSR version, and the GSR version is a one inch, I guess there's a SI that's a three quarter, we believe, and then the EX and DX come with like a half inch. So we want the GSR because it is a larger bore. It's gonna give us more power, braking power, I imagine. The problem is, is it's not designed well to clear this. So we don't know what we're gonna do. If you guys have any ideas, if you've seen that work, we're thinking maybe a banjo bolt, banjo bolt, or we were thinking to just bend it around and down and tuck it around. We're trying to be creative, which is cool. This is our artistic side of building a car, and you get to really stamp your car when you get to make your own design decisions. You know, so. Not that everybody's gonna notice this stuff, but the people who do notice this stuff will notice it, you know, is what we're hoping, at least for ourselves. So just a little bit about our brake setup. We've got still braided brake lines. We've got an SI. 2000 Civic SI proportion valve, prop valve, prop non, valve. non ABS. Non ABS. We deleted the ABS, and we've got a GSR brake master cylinder and uh, brake booster. And brake booster, and then we have what is it? EBC dimpled and slotted rotors. And track pads. And EBC track pads as well. And we did swap out the rears for, um, I forget if it's GSR or SI rear disc brakes, but. I think they're either, I think they're SIs. Okay. Either way, they, they are a larger rotor, so. With that, we also swapped out our control arms and our or A-arms as well for the same shit, right? On the front? Front, right? Because that came with all the suspension because we swapped out our suspension. No, it just came with the, the knuckle. Okay. So this is still... Civic I, control arms and... Yeah, but there's no difference. Okay. And we got sway bars from an SI. So we've tried to utilize the junkyard for as much as we could, but that was the initial build process and now Fro has just let his credit card do some work since he's gotten halfway into it. The initial build process was we got a Prelude 2000 that we were going to build into a Lemons car and because uh, it was wrecked in the front. And the more we researched it, the more we realized that that car would have required more work than we wanted to put into to get it on the track. And just the more we pulled off, the more we had to replace. The frame was bad and it was just gonna cost too much money to put into it. So we decided to pull the motor by a little Civic and try to build a Lemons car. 
the more we got into it, the more we realized that we didn't want a lemons car. We wanted more of a daily driver, not, not a daily driver, more of a, like a Honda track day car that eventually can get us on it like um, some SCCA up all the way to, <clears throat> the goal would be more of the chump series racing where it's kind of like lemons racing, but it seems to be less congested, more serious. Everything I've seen, it looks like guys that's it for me tonight uh got some brake lines down to throw sorry not a whole lot of cool stuff but uh, um it's a step in the right direction guys so brake lines are done psych we definitely got a good start on them though and uh hopefully you guys are hanging out with us soon how do i shut this shit off shut off the system yes all right so Thanks for hanging out, guys. I appreciate your support. Appreciate your comments. Um, I tell you, I hear YouTube's getting a little tight. So I have posted a couple videos that never actually got uploaded. Um, I am working on a couple of those. So I appreciate you. I'll see you soon.